So we're at our Windows 11 desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Google Chrome and I'm at docker.com, that's the official URL. I'll make sure I link this in the description below. And you can see automatically right over here, we have the download Docker desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna download a file, which is 594 megs. Uh, once that's complete, we'll jump over to the installation. Okay, the download is now complete. We're gonna go ahead and click on the executable file that we just grabbed. So we get a user control prompt. We're just gonna say yes to this. Okay, so we get a couple options over here. We get the use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V, which is recommended. We're gonna leave that checked as well as uh, if you want a shortcut on your desktop, you can leave that checked and then go ahead and click on okay. And it's gonna to start to unpack and install files. This process might take a couple of minutes. I'll jump over to the next step. Okay, so the installation is now completed. What it's gonna to wanna to do is restart the computer. So we have the option right over here to close and restart, and we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm just at my login screen. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my username and password here. Okay, so we're back at the desktop and we're just finishing up the installation right now. We get the uh, subscription service agreement here. Uh, you can go ahead and view the full terms by clicking on this link. Uh, once you've agreed to those terms, you can go ahead and click on accept. And the first thing that we're gonna get here is a tutorial that comes up. You can either start the tutorial or skip it. Uh, tutorial is about two minutes long. I'm gonna skip it right now when we bring it over here uh, to the main screen, the extension marketplace. And you can see that we have the bar down here. The engine's running, it's green. That means we're up and running and it's good. And if we go under containers, uh, just to get a sample one running, just to make sure that it's running properly and that there's no issues, we're just gonna do a default one. And we're gonna open up our PowerShell. So I'm just gonna minimize this for now. And I'm gonna go into the start menu and I'm gonna type in PowerShell. We're gonna run it as administrator. I'm gonna click on yes. Okay, and inside PowerShell, I'm gonna paste in that line I just copied and we're gonna hit enter. Uh, we're gonna allow access through our firewall. And we have our test container running right now. We're gonna go back over into Docker. So here we are inside the containers and we can see this one just started up and this is the one that we're using to test. Uh, everything looks good to go. You don't have to keep this one in here. This is just for testing purposes. You can just click on stop and then you can trash it and it'll delete forever and that's now gone. Uh, we do know that we have the sample container running successfully so there is no issues here. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.